Baba. You must really love me because you agreed to marry me on a Sunday during football season. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the Vikings are doing today, but even though I wish I had met you earlier, I still think we met at the perfect time. I remember praying to God, asking for the right one. And then he gave me you, someone who is sincere, honest, smart, and a gentleman. Krisha, you truly are my gift from God. What are the chances that our paths that begin on opposite sides of the world would cross at the perfect time? She's genuine, she's very creative, she's especially talented when it comes to buying shoes. But what stands out the most about her is her love for family. This is apparent in her unconditional love and unwavering support for her mom and brothers. You can see this in her sincere love and deep respect for Tim's family. And so, I'm extremely grateful that today, Tim and Krisha are officially family. <laughs> because loving family is what Krisha does best. Hi. Oh, love you so much. <laughs> You like always dress. are. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's so good. Oh, yeah, let's see the shoes. Falling in love with you was the easiest go. thing I've ever done. Your thoughtfulness, patience, and understanding makes me realize how lucky I am to have found you. Krisha, you truly are my gift from God. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more sure of anything in my life that we belong together. It must be true love if I marry you, even on a Sunday during football season. Oh my gosh, why is the photo always <laughs> part of our... <laughs> love always and forever, I promise. <laughs> love you. On behalf of Krisha and Tim, I'd like to thank you all for being here to share in their wedding day. For today, we celebrate the loving relationship that Krisha and Tim have built together over the past four years, as well as the loving future that they look forward to share with each other. because I couldn't imagine a day without you in it. I love you, Baba, forever and always. And Krisha and Tim's story is a wonderful example of how God brings just the right circumstances together at just the perfect time. Building a relationship is much like laying the foundation for a building. And brick by brick, Krisha and Tim have created a strong foundation for their marriage. So now we are here to recognize and affirm what they already have. Their genuine connection, their dedication to that connection, and their feeling of being truly blessed to be together. I'm so blessed to become your husband. <laughs> I've always admired how courageous, hardworking, and beautiful you are. I promise to make you laugh every single day. <laughs> strive to be the man and husband you deserve for the rest of our lives. The love that Krishna and Tim have for one another is a seed that their parents planted in their hearts years ago. And today it has blossomed. So today as they embrace each other and their love, they also embrace their families which have come together on this happy occasion. Krishna and Tim, I ask 
ask Ivy and Darren to join us and lay a veil over you to clothe you together. Let this be a symbol of the faithful love that you have for each other. And through the passing of the years, let the veil remind you that you belong to each other and to no one else. The cord symbolizes an infinite bond of love that you share, that keeps your relationship strong in the face of adversity as well is that you both are no longer two, but one in marriage. So today I'm going to talk about relationships people have and many theories on how a healthy relationship works. So here's my thoughts on it, Tim and Cresha. The secret to a happy, healthy relationship is sharing the highlights and low light points. This is a simple plan that applies to friends, family, and your spouse. So the point is share your victories and your defeats and your relationship will grow and strengthen and your bond will become unbreakable. It's my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Tim, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tim and Krisha Kronobush. Yeah. 